Problem academic in a short video. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, good afternoon, all chairman CBSC and director NCRT have given a clear picture of alternative academic calendar. I'll summarize the salient features of alternative academic calendar in this presentation. So, very first, we have a big question why? So, uh, these are the reasons. Guys, Mr. Sanjeev Jain started the presentation with a question so after all, why? Because of this COVID, lack of face-to-face -face interaction in our school system. So, uh, effort to be made to continue the learning of the students and provide them with multiple alternative ways of learning. In this context, alternative calendars for all stages of school education by NCRT. These are different uh, calendars. You can see clearly uh, left side of the screen, you can see higher secondary space and right side uh, secondary space. So these calendars consist of chapter of themes wise interesting activities and challenges matter. Yes, CBSC has also issued uh, calendars for the senior academic uh, higher secondary stages and secondary stages in which he has described in which they have described the uh, different activities which all teachers even uh, parents and children can follow to learn and uh, just uh, come in the curriculum activities habit with the learning outcomes the purpose of mapping of themes with learning outcome is to facilitate let's listen mr sandeep jain describing on his presentation all about what he has planned and to basically plan for alternative academic calendar and parents to assist the progress in students learning however it is emphasized that the focus should not be on learning focus should be on learning rather than testing for scores this calendar include general guidelines and subject specific activities reference of learning resources along with textbooks detailed material on the use of different technological and social media tools as well as strategies for reducing stress and anxiety in the present time you can see clearly subject wise weekly calendar it is divided into three columns first column is for learning outcomes second column is based on resources and third column you can find week wise activities so these are some prominent features alternative academic calendars provide scope for using the reduced topics for the rationalized curriculum for experiential and project based learning through the strategies provided in the calendar. Chapter wise, e-content available on e-parsala, NRO, ER and Deeksha may be used along with these activities. So we can use the e-calendar which is uh, available for everybody uh, to get the e-topics and uh, description of e-contents. Uh, and Diksha is also there, one of the uh, the uh, ultimate resource or link for the teachers and the students to get the detail about uh, all these uh, available resources. Integration of art and physical education in the activities to create interest of the students. Calendar is flexible and suggestive. Please note that the calendar is flexible and suggestive. Teachers can implement this considering the context and need of the students. Designing of activities allow the students to conduct them on their own under the supervision of parents. Activities can be modified based on the availability of resources and the prior knowledge of students. Here is the uh, guidelines related to implementing this alternative calendar. So very first step is, before beginning with the activities, explain parents and children the reasons and merits using this calendar. Number two, give clear and sufficient verbal and visual instructions to all the children, including children with special needs. Third, ensure activities 
be conducted in a friendly and supportive environment without forcing students. Four, integrate new concepts to be taught with the prior understanding of the students. Fifth, opportunities be provided to students for logical reasoning and language proficiency. Appropriate worksheets can also be created aligned with these activities. Now, transactional strategies, the sole motto is to become a self-learner. Students to become self-learner. The self-motive of the uh, academic calendar, according to the Sun to Mr. Sandeep Jain, is to become self-integrated learners. Guys, uh, students have to pay attention on improving their learning by self, uh, by doing activities at, um, by their own and, of course, uh, by involving themselves in different, different terms of learning. Here are a few suggestions. Ask students to go through a particular portion of the chapter. Initiate a discussion related to that portion. Ask students to deliberate on that. Highlight only important points during the discussion and rest of the work may be done by the students themselves. Intervene only when necessary. Process which can be helped in clarifying the doubts of the students. Facilitate students to understand the concept while involving them in certain activities in groups. Students may form their subgroups on WhatsApp or Telegram involving different students. Each group may be assigned different tasks and they may be asked to revert. Here uh, an example. Example related to reading activity and it is divided into pre-reading, while reading and post-reading. So pre-reading activity is that the teacher can use R asking questions related to the theme of the story, showing pictures to generate ideas and related vocabulary. Teaching new vocabulary or expressions that will appear in the story. Give some listening activities to the learner related to the theme. While reading, depending on the length of the text, divide it into parts and while reading the text, check the comprehension of the learners for each part. Let's see what let's see what he told about uh, the reading, writing and speaking abilities. For comprehension, assessment can be conducted why giving true false multiple choice short answer completion type word attack questions and table completion type questions along with question and answers activities on all four skills can also be given post reading post reading activity can be focused on topics beyond the text for example gram grammar in context writing activities points for debate writing dialogues for role play, group retelling, creating own ending, story mapping, storyboarding, reflecting. Engagement and assessment of students. Assessment need to be integrated part the teaching learning process whether through face-to-face -face mode or distance mode. Learner may be motivated for self-assessment. Learners may be assigned some interesting and challenging activities through which they can do self-assessment at students. Let's multiple see uh, what, questions, he, what, what he told short about the assignment long answer answer uh, questions, questions, students. Activity-based questions, open book questions. Uh, learners may be motivated to solve crossword puzzles participate in online quizzes by using Kahoot, conduct model device related to concept learning, write slogans or create a poem on concept learning, create games on the concept learning, prepare a spider or hierarchical type of concept map of the lesson learned, prepare a list of 21st century skills or values learned from the lesson. Prepare two understanding, application, and higher order questions from lesson learned. So, uh, these uh, were the second.